Hi and welcome to day one of the five day mini board challenge. In today's workout, we will use this marvelous prop to work all the muscles in your body. Let's get started. Okay, everybody, let's start with a nice wide stance. You're gonna squat down into your goddess or sumo or plie squat and we'll reach the ball out to the right. Bring it back in, swap hands, reach the ball out to the left. One more, swapping the ball under on each side. And on the next one, we're gonna go over. All the way over, up and over. Bring it back down. Two more in this direction. Last one, now let's reverse the direction. And breathe, just warming up those muscles. And opening those knees out wide, standing into those heels, stomach scoops in. Last one, up and over, stay down. We're gonna reach the ball out to the right. Bring it back in, stand tall, reach it out to the left. Bring it back in, just warming up the body, doing some nice mobility moves, getting ready for the next 15 minutes. Okay, last one. Bring it back in, nice and slowly coming onto the mat. Lying onto your back, pop the ball between your inner thighs. Just can do some gentle squeezes just to activate your deep stomach muscles and your inner thighs. So you're going to breathe in to begin on the breath out. Just going to gently squeeze the ball and release the ball. So just be mindful when you're squeezing and releasing that you're really engaging into the front of your body. You're not pushing your back down. You're not squeezing your glutes. Everything is staying quiet. You're finding the deep stomach muscles and you're finding those pelvic floor muscles. Let's do three more until we hold with that squeeze. Three and two. And let's hold that squeeze, breathing in, breathing out. Let's peel up nice and slowly, lifting the hips up, eye line staying straight up, breathe in, releasing the squeeze just a little bit, rolling back down, breathe in, breathe out, squeeze the ball, breathe in, breathe out, tilt the pelvis, peel all the way back up, nice and slowly, coming back down. So you're mobilizing your spine, you're activating your deep stomach muscles, you're activating your glutes, and of course your inner thighs. Let's do two more and we stay up at the top for two. Using your breath, breathing in at the bottom, breathing out to peel up, breathing at the top. Let's stay at the top. Take the ball out, keep the hips lifted, the ball goes overhead. You're going to keep your left arm still in space, you're going to open the ball out to the right and you're going to bring it back in. Swapping sides, this time the ball comes out to the left and you bring it back in. As always, you're not just thinking about the side that's moving, you're also bringing some of your attention to the non-moving side, and you're breathing. One more on each side. Still standing into your heels, still squeezing those glutes. Now let's bring in those legs and those core muscles. So standing into your right heel, you're gonna float your left knee in, and then you're gonna bring it back down. Swap sides, right knee floats up and you bring it back down. So try to keep it, your hips nice and level and you're breathing. Try to engage and squeeze into the glute before you lift the other leg. So the glute that's on the floor, the leg, the heel that's on the floor, stand into it. Just do a couple more, keeping those hips lifted. Last one. And then you're gonna combine the two moves. So as your right hand comes out to the side, the left knee floats up and then you bring it in, you swap sides. So just combining those two movements, scooping the stomach in. So yes, you're working those glutes, absolutely. But you're also trying to engage those core muscles to float the leg up and down. For another three and two and one. Bring both heels on the floor, reach the hand behind you, gently press into the ball, breathe in as slow as you can roll down through the spine, bring the ball at chest height, breathe in, breathe out, peeling slowly up. Do one more of these, reaching the ball back, rolling down. And on the next one, you're gonna peel up and we're gonna place that ball beneath your sacrum. So the ball's underneath your sacrum, make sure it's nice and central. Your arms are relaxed by your side and we're gonna float the left knee to tabletop and then float the right leg into tabletop. 
So finding your center, finding your balance, you're going to breathe in and on the breath out you're going to float the left leg forwards and then you're going to draw it back in and swap sides. So you're really scooping your stomach in, you're keeping the other leg nice and still, you're trying to move from your core and you're breathing, your eye line staying nice and still, straight up and you're breathing and reaching for three, two, and one. Both knees come back into tabletop. Right knee stays really still in space. And you open the left knee out to the side. Pause, breathe in, bring it back in. So don't open, swap side. Don't open that leg out so far that the opposite side chases you out there. Keep even weight into that ball. So just find what your range is, where you can have a nice pause when the knee is open. Breathe in and use those stomach muscles to bring the knee back up. So no swinging, no momentum. You're opening out and you're coming back in. One more on each side. Breathe in. Pause, breathe out, bring it back in. Last one. Opening out. Bring it back in. And let's go straight into double legs reaching forwards. So you're going to breathe in. On the breath out, you're going to reach forward. Breathe in, breathe out, pull it back in. So you're going forwards. You're not going up. You're going on the diagonal, but you're not going so low that you feel any discomfort in your lower back. You're finding what your range is, where it's really challenging, but you still have a core connection. You're still connecting to the front of your body. Let's do three more. Breathe in, breathe out to reach. Breathe in, breathe out to draw them back in. And reaching way for two. And one, bring it back in. Bring your feet straight up towards the ceiling, keeping your legs straight. You're gonna breathe in, keep the left leg still in space. You're gonna float that right leg down. Again, you're gonna stop on the diagonal, breathe in, breathe out, slowly bring it back up. So this time, as your right leg comes down, as it comes back up, you're gonna switch and swap. You're gonna keep reaching the legs away, switch and swap. And engaging the stomach for five, and four, and three. We're gonna have a hold in two, and we're gonna hold and breathe and reach and hold for five, and scoot the stomach in for four, three, two, one, swap it over, five, four, three, two, one, bring your legs back into your tabletop. Let's do some single leg stretches. So you're gonna bring the left knee in and send the right leg out on the diagonal. You're gonna breathe in, you're gonna breathe out, you're gonna swap, reaching that leg away. Breathe in, breathe out, reach away. So you're really reaching the leg through the midpoint of the midline of your body. And you're really focusing on those lower stomach muscles, especially on the leg that's being sent away and you're reaching the leg away and you're breathing and you're swapping and you're finding those core muscles. Keep going and swapping for five and breathe and breathe out, reach, breathe and breathe out, reach, four and three, two and one. Breathe the legs into the tabletop and have a very well-deserved little rock from side to side. Bring your feet down onto the mat. You're gonna reach the hands up to the ceiling. We're gonna squeeze the glutes and lift the hips up. Breathe in. And then the tailbone is the first thing that touches back down. So it's not an articulation, it's a neutral spine lift and lower. So now you're trying to really actively lift up through your posterior chain, through the back of your body for three. Stomach still staying engaged and two. And up and hold, stay lifted, take the ball out. Keep the ball in your hands, reach the ball behind you, breathe in, breathe out, lower down, walk your feet to about hip distance apart, bring the ball up to shoulder height, big breath in, and then with the breath out, you're gonna peel all the way up, reaching forwards, and breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, roll, 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 find the tips of your shoulder blades, pause, breathe in, breathe out, and that last one. Bring the ball up to chest height. Breathe in, breathe out, reach all the way up. Now we're gonna do a half roll back. You're gonna breathe in, you're gonna roll back. 
And then we're gonna open the ball out to the left and open the right arm out as well. Opening both arms out, swap sides with the ball. Opening both arms out. Come back in, bring both legs into tabletop and let's do the same. Scooping up, lifting up through your chest, opening both hands out. One more on each side. Bring the ball back to the centre, keeping the legs turned space, you're going to rotate, bring the ball over to your left, eye line follows, lift it up high, bring it back to your right. So keeping your lower body nice and still in space, we're just rotating from one side to the other side in our Russian twists, using our obliques for five and four and three, keeping your chest open and two and come and hold on this side, you're going to float the arms up and then bring them back down. So staying on that left, lifting up and lowering, scooping the stomach in, lifting the chest proud, four and three, two and one, over to the other side, staying on that right side, lift and lower and reaching up with the ball, keeping those legs ready still, three, two, and one, bring the ball up to the center, try to straighten out both legs if you can, hold it here, five, reach for three, two, one, bring the feet down, sit up nice and tall, and bring the ball a little bit behind you. And we're gonna roll back down just like you just did, but this time, of course, you've got the ball on the mat, so breathe in, breathe out, find your seat curve, breathe in, breathe out, roll down, make sure the ball's in the center, Adjust it if you need to, bring your hands behind your head. Walk your feet out about hip distance apart. Let's work now into those upper stomach muscles. So you're gonna breathe in, on the breath out, you're gonna scoop your stomach in and you're gonna curl up so that your eye line is just to the tops of your knees. You're gonna breathe in and nice and slowly, you're gonna come back down, keeping your engagement and connection with the front of your body. So you're not collapsing down at the bottom, you're keeping your stomach switched on as you come all the way up. Breathe in, using your breath out to come all the way down. And you're breathing, you're curling up. On this next one, as you curl up, you're gonna float your left knee into tabletop. And as you roll back down, you're gonna bring that foot back down. And we're gonna swap sides, curl up and lower back down. Take your time and breathe and scooping the stomach in on the next one as you bring your left up you're going to rotate bring your right elbow to your left knee and then come all the way back down swap sides rotate curl up rotate and then come all the way back down and three and two and hold on this side so you're rotating round to one side, don't worry if you're on a different side. Now you're gonna bring the right leg, the opposite leg into tabletop. You're gonna send that opposite leg away and you're gonna float it up and bring it back down. So you're staying rotated on one side, your stomach's engaged, you're lifting that leg up from your core, you're sending away from your core and you're smiling of course. And of course you're breathing, reaching that leg away for three. Find those obliques, find that rotation, two, and one, bring it back in, swap sides, opposite leg, straight up, and reach it away straight down, keep curling up, keep rotating, keep breathing, and yes, of course, keep smiling. No momentum, no swinging. Three more, three, two, you can use your breath. So even if you get the breathing down a different way from where I'm cueing, just keep breathing. Last one, come back into the centre, curl up higher, 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 breathe, five, four, three, two, one, bring it all the way back down. This time, if it feels all right, reach your hands to either side of the room. Again, if it doesn't, keep your hands behind your bed. Reach your hands to either side of the room. Of course, if it doesn't feel comfortable, then keep your hands behind your head and just make sure that everything just feels good. Sit up nice and tall and let's do some side bending to finish. Keep the ball on that left side. We're going to swap that over in a second. I hope you're all doing really well. Day one is done. 
Next up tomorrow, we've got your lower body. Let's swap sides with the ball. Up and over and come back round. So have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's workout. If you did enjoy it and want to access the full five day workout challenge and loads more workouts and challenges, then download my app by clicking on the link, both coming up now and also at the end of the video. You get a seven day free trial period. If it's not for you, you can cancel at any time, no questions asked, but hopefully you'll really enjoy it and we can get fit together. Take care, see you soon.